So in this video I'm going to cover uh, a little bit of the scenes and the scene transitions and I also created this um, application and I'm going to show you first. So this is a scene with just a color layer with this grayish color and a label with press space to start. So when I press the space, the scene will transition to the next scene with this flip uh, Y transitioning. So once again, pressing the space will transition to the next scene and also to the ending scene. So, after pressing the space once again, it will restart the whole. So now we are back to the press space to start scene. And it starts over. Okay, so how it was created, I already typed out everything, so I'm going, just going to walk through the code. So this is the intro scene and it inherits from the cocos.scene scene. And it just, I'm just adding to the scene a color layer with RGB and RGB and the alpha value and adding to it a label. This is its position, font size, and this anchor X and anchor Y, and uh, of course the text press space to start. And I'm um, also adding to it this scene control layer. I'm going to show it a little bit later. And here is test scene one. It also inheriting from the cocos that scene that scene. It has this also a color layer and it loads also a sprite so this one i just created <laughs> under two or three seconds in um, paint so it loads this uh, test.png and it's also to this scene also added the scene control layer as it is here and scene uh, two, it's also inheriting from the test scene. I mean, from the cocos that scene that scene. And it ha also has a color layer and a sprite uh, with a bg2.png, which is this one. And to it, I'm also added the scene controller layer. And lastly, the restart scene also inherits from the cocos that scene that scene and also I modded it to uh, to it a uh, color layer and two labels with end of presentation text position its color its font size and its anchor X anchor Y and the second label with press space to restart and also added this scene control layer so now let's go to the scene control layer so the scene control layer uh, inherits from the cocos layer layer and i'm setting the, its event handler to true and i'm also the two uh, static variables one is the space counter so how many times the space key was pressed and an active scene which is for now just none so i added this on key press uh, event and first i'm going to go to this line so when i'm initiating the director i'm creating a new window i'm setting the scene control layer that active scene so this static uh, variable here here to the intro scene and then i'm running the director 
director.run scene controller that active scene and here when I'm pressing the space key so if symbol equals space key and this control layer that space counters is zero that means I'm going to set the active scene to intro scene and here is the transition effect so I'm calling the director that replace with flip x 3d transition and and adding it to the active scene and the duration is two seconds so when the space key is pressed once again this scene control layer the space counter will in, um, increase by one so when i press the space key the this will evaluate to true and this will also evaluate to two so the control layer that space counter will be equal to one so the scene control scene control layer that active scene will be the test scene one and it will transition to this test scene one uh, in in duration two seconds and I'm all here I'm also incrementing the space counter so next time when I press the space key the space counter will be two so this line will be or this if statement will be executed so it will set the active scene to test scene and also going to call the director dot replace and lastly the the restart scene so when the scene controller later space counter is free it will set the active scene to restart scene and here also uh, we'll call this replace director dot replace and i'm setting here the scene controller layer the space counter equals minus one so that when this ends it will be minus one plus one so zero so next time it will execute this if statement so where, call, where the active scene is set to intro scene so once again i'm just going to show you so this is the intro scene which is the default and when i press the space it goes to this test scene one and once again i'm pressing the space key so it goes to test scene two and once again it just goes to the restart scene so which has this end of presentation text uh, end of presentation and uh, press space to restart so press space to restart so i'm going to show you another uh, another python file i just created and it's called scene transitions and I'm this is almost the same but I made it a little bit more interesting by adding uh, a little bit of sprite sheet animation and also just some actions so here I'm preloading the zombie zero one that png I created this uh, sprite sheet animation idle idle animation in uh, a sprite and here we also have an intro scene and we have a test scene and to this test scene i'm loading also the zombie uh, animation sprite sheet, sprite sheet animation and to the test scene too i'm also loading the zombie 
uh, animation and on and so this scene that scene if you open it up it's a source code you see that it has this on enter and on exit methods so on enter is called every time the scene enters the stage so I'm calling the super that on enter so it will call all of this code here and then I'm adding my own uh, code here so it will move the zombie and also the restart scene I'm just going to show you and so here we are press space to start so the intro scene and now let's go to the scene one or uh, to to test scene one so here is our zombie and he's just enjoying the fresh air somewhere in the nature <laughs> so um, let's load the next scene which is the this test scene 2 so press the space key and he falls from the sky so I did it here I set the sprite's position by default to 640 and 2000 on Y and when the on enter method is called I'm setting this, uh, to a sprite a do ac uh, move to action so it will move to 640 on X and to 220 on Y under two seconds and uh, when I press the space key it will load the game over scene and it also has this little bit of animation so game over and press space to restart and once again so test scene 1 test scene 2 and uh, game over scene and this feature of uh, Cocos 2D Python is also useful when you want to create some kind of presentation powerpoint like uh, presentations so it can be used for that also and let me see so here as you saw uh, here I'm calling different transition effects so the shuffle transition is uh, is that last transition so I'm going to show you this is the this was the flip uh, yes flip X transition this is the flip Y transition and now we are going to call the flip angular 3d transition and here we are going to call the shuffle transition which is this nice effect so if you wanna learn more about these transitions i just recommend you to go to to coco studies python uh, documentation and read through the uh, also the programming guide and all and uh, and uh, uh, api reference there and you can also go to the source code itself uh, let me see here it is 
from cocos.scene import all. So let me check this out and as you can see it has this dot transition import all so let's go to this source and here are all the transition effects in Cocos so you can try these out and these also have uh, some comments so just do your own research and just try so I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video so yes here here in the rest of scene by default I'm setting the game over text position to 200 on X and 360 on Y and uh, press space on start on rest to restart on negative 2000 uh, on X and uh, 260 on Y so when the scene enters the stage it, this on enter is called and I'm applying to label 1 and label 2 this move to actions so last time I'm going to run it so thanks for watching and have a nice day